So we're going to balance this armature now. Uh, everything's demagged and cleaned up, and I put it on here and watch it swing. So what's going to happen? This one isn't off by a whole lot, but you can see it's swinging. And uh, so the hot, the the heavy side is going to swing down. So my plan here is to add a little weight to the light side, which is on top, and try to get this thing so it will stop swinging. And that's my goal in this step. So uh, here I'll say that the, the light spot is somewhere around here. And I'll take a little super glue and put it right there in, in that crook where the light spot is. And I'm going to grab with my super glue toothpick, try again, a little piece of brass. I'm going to stick it right in there. So that's that's glued in. You can't see that maybe, but uh, that little piece of brass is glued in right there. And uh, put it back on here and see how it looks. Okay, still swinging. Swing a little slower. So I've I made some impact on it, I suppose. It's a little better than it was. Okay. So I'm gonna just put a little more glue on there and grab another piece of brass. Stick it on there. I could have maybe used a piece of tungsten on this one. I thought it wasn't swinging that bad, but maybe this one is uh, a little worse. Okay, now look at it. Now it's just slowly swinging. You know, it's it's slowing down. So I'm thinking yeah, maybe I should have used a piece of tungsten here because I'm kind of running out of room. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go all kind of gutsy here. I'm gonna glue a little piece of tungsten right here between these two brass pieces in the same spot. Just stick it right there. So I got a good chunk of weight on this dude. Okay, now we can see it's barely swinging at all. See, it's it's going really slow. And also the uh, heavy spot has shifted a bit. Now it's closer to this other pole over here. So I'm gonna put a little glue here under this pole and try to find a little bitty piece, like a little piece of brass here. I'm going to stick that in there, like so. Try it again and see how I did. Well, lucky there. Now it's barely even. It's I guess it's swinging. Technically, it's swinging. That's pretty much not swinging, but it's it is doing a little. You can figure out where if there's a heavy spot or a light spot, we could put a little dab of glue on it if it'll stop at some point. Yeah, this is kind of the point where I just let it go. That's pretty close to perfect. Now I'm just going to set it aside. I'm not in any kind of rush here. I'm going to set it aside and let that glue harden. That glue is going to take, I don't know, 20 minutes to an hour to harden. Here's another arm. Now I did a, pre a little pre-check on this one. I know this one's a little worse. So you can see that one's swinging. So the, the, the amount of unbalance is, is proportional to how, how fast it's swinging. So if it's swinging fast, that means it's got a lot of unbalance. If it's swinging slower like that other one started, not quite so much unbalance. So this one's pretty far off. Um, and I don't have one handy. I got a bunch of arms sitting here that, you know, one of those might be like perfect right out of the box or, or box or very, very close. You wouldn't even need to balance it or just a tiny amount of glue or something. But anyway, but anyway this one's pretty bad. So I'm just going to stick a big hunk of glue right there and then get a chunk of tungsten and just set it right in there. On this one, I might have just gone ahead and put two pieces of tungsten in, but just to show. Okay, now if you compare it to before, it's swinging a little slower. It's still, it's still definitely out of balance. It's definitely swinging. Um, let's see where the heavy spot is. So it's still closer to this pole. So I'm going to put a little more glue on. And then grab a bit smaller piece of tungsten, say. Stick it in there. Tungsten's a little tricky, too. It tends to want to stick to that toothpick more than it wants to stick to the arm. I don't know why it's like that. 
I have that problem with the brass, but yeah, it'll they'll sometimes fight you. These things will just sort of float on the super glue, and then you gotta mess around with them a bit to make them stop floating. Uh, she's still swinging. This is gonna take some weight. Now, if I was into a cutting mood, I could just cut a little off this side over here, but I, I don't tend to do that here. Um, like I said, there's a stage later where I do the dynamic portion of the balancing where I will do some cutting. All right, I'm adding another chunk of tungsten. That's a pretty good sized chunk. If I can get everything to stay still there, let's see what happens. Okay, I think it might have shifted to this other pole, or a little closer to this other pole. So I'm going to add a chunk over here. This guy's getting a lot of weight. Put a piece of good-sized piece of brass over there, I guess. I'm kind of running out of tungsten right now. All right, we can see it slowed down, definitely. And now it's definitely favoring this pole again. Let's add a little more glue. And another chunk of, let's go with a small chunk of tungsten here. So I got a big blob of tungsten over here. Look at that thing. That's a lot of weight right there. This one is off pretty far. For a dash arm, that's a that's this was off by about as much as I ever get. It's important not to glue the armature to your finger, too. That's a little lesson there. Look at that. See, we're not swinging much now. Will it even stop? And it's swinging a little. Just a little. Looks like I might have just slightly overcorrected. What I'm going to do is take a little glue and just put it over here, a little dab there. See what happens here. It looks like it's pretty stable. pull now. Let's get a little dot there. kind of chasing it around it looks like I think I'm just gonna let this one go it's pretty it's pretty doggone close just let that sit so once again just let it sit for a while uh, let that harden and uh, then it would be on to the next step